Greetings, humanoids of the internet. My name is Bob, and this is the 300 subscriber spe special. Yes, we have gotten 300 subscribers to subscribe to this channel, so congratulations. Uh, it is thanks to uh, loyal viewers like you uh, that we have gotten this far today. Uh, and uh, so to celebrate our uh, 300 subscriber um, uh, uh, landmark, whatever the hell you call that, benchmark, uh, we've got a, a couple of um, uh, special entertainments on tap uh, for this evening. Uh, we're going to do KSP fireworks. Uh, now, fireworks are not all that easy, unless you... <coughs> well, they're easy if you, like, plow your rocket into the ground, or, or the moon, or whatever. <coughs> Sorry. So they are easy in that respect, but uh, in many other respects, if you want something to blow up at a certain time... Uh, it's, KSP is not really designed that way. It's more designed so, so things won't blow up, or that you'll at least have a chance of things not blowing up. Uh, so um, to make them blow up on purpose sometimes takes a little, uh, little planning, a little imagination. Uh, our our appetizer for this uh, event. Hello. Uh, you may have seen uh, fireworks called Catherine wheels. Uh, this is our Catherine wheel. <coughs> Sorry, my sinuses are still going nuts. Uh, what happens is this thing decouples. Uh, this this thing, uh, this square, is only connected to, to the rest of the thing uh, because it's got uh, these wheels on it. Um, and the wheels run around around the circles on this uh, cylinder here. Uh, and uh, propelled by these rockets. Uh, and, uh, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I had to deal with a, another sinus situation. Uh, and um, this thing uh, does tend to destroy itself fairly early on uh, in the process, but uh, uh, while it's working on that, it's uh, pretty entertaining. <laughs> while it's working on destroying itself, it's pretty entertaining. Uh, okay, uh, this is uh, Act 1 of our two-act play here. Uh, so let's go ahead and launch. Uh, and I never realized before this uh, how strong uh, landing leg lights, um, landing leg, landing gear lights were. Uh, but we're going to turn this on, and you'll see that's all, most, almost all of it that, that's because of the landing gear. So I've got an action group set up to turn those off. And we do have some lights on it uh, as part of the show. Uh, so uh, this is the Catherine wheel, uh, and uh, I don't think I have anything that actually has a throttle on it. Uh, and it's a very short show, but it is an interesting one. Uh, and so let's go. That was pretty, pretty entertaining. And it does kind of run off the real, run, run off the rung. So uh, let's let's do that again. Okay, lights. Turn off the landing gear lights. Uh, we'll hit a F2. <coughs> Sorry, just clear out the uh, clear out the environment here, and let's go. It's bucking like a bronco. There it goes. Yeah, it came off the treads. Uh, one of these I'm going to do a, a helicopter on this design, uh, that sort of, um, that sort of, uh, thing there. <laughs> Rota that sort of rotating thing there. Let's <laughs> do it one more time for Mr. Grins. Okay. Buck like a Bronco! Booyah! <coughs> it's like a disco and a, and a, and a war all in one. 
Okay. See, I've got some very interesting uh, bridge-like uh, suspension going on here. Okay. So that was Act 1 of our uh, two-act play. That was the appetizer, the uh, aperitif, as it were, uh, to the main event, uh, which is more like um, Armageddon. Yeah. More like an unholy rain of fire from the gods. Okay, let's load it up. It is the... Actually, it's the Skyrocket uh, 3. I want to show you the uh, uh, Skyrocket 1, just to show you what I sort of started off with. I had to, uh, to make many, uh, many um, adjustments. This is what I started off with. Let's go ahead and launch it. Uh oh, what the hell? <laughs> I've still got that thing there. What the hell? <laughs> okay. In flight. In flight. Alright, let's try it again. Excuse <coughs> <coughs> me. Okay, what I discovered is is that uh, if you want to get these little fuel tanks to explode, uh, it takes more than having just one uh, of these um, uh, di these um, uh, da -da 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 -da. It takes more than one of these little rockets pointing at it to do the trick. But we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you. It's kind of cool looking in its, own, in its own right, but it's not uh, not quite as apocalyptic as what I eventually came up with. Okay, come on. I wonder if it, if firing it off ahead of time uh, before the engines run out will make any difference. Maybe not. Well, we'll just let, we'll let the engines run out. We're almost done. Come on, come on, engines, run out. Okay. Now this is my first attempt. It looks pretty cool. It looks, it looks like a little ballet in the air, yeah. but it doesn't explode, unfortunately. It has has much grace, but very little explosions. Okay, now what I eventually came up with, um, kind of a, uh, imagine, if you will, uh, the kind of uh, weapon of mass destruction that a supervillain would come up with. Uh, it's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> That's kind of what it is, too. It really is kind of a weapon of mass destruction. Uh, let's go ahead and load her up. Let's see. This is the Skyrocket 3. And it's gonna take a while. But look at that mother! <laughs> look at that mother! Now that that there is a weapon of mass destruction, right? <laughs> I got three uh, three of the uh, little separatrons pointed at each of these fuel tanks here, uh, so to ensure that that uh, a discrete distance from the time they start to fire, that these things will blow up, um, <laughs> making much shock waves and debris and death and destruction and the very very beautiful very beautiful very beautiful death and blood indeed okay so I mean, but look at that does that not look like something that a mad scientist you know with a bent for world domination would come up with maybe I missed my calling in life I should have been a mad scientist all right well let's launch this bitch <coughs> let's let's launch this monstrosity this crime against humanity 
and it really kind of is. It really kind of is a crime against humanity. Come on. A bit laggy. Okay, SAS on, throttle to maximum. And three, two, one, go. Give it a little tilt. And we're gonna back out of ways. <coughs> so you can get the full the full flavor of the whole the whole cluster frack. Yeah, that's about that's about right. <laughs> Look at all those little bits of debris. And they all start showing up on the on the radar there. <laughs> Spreading slowly out. There's even more in here. There's, there's not even bothering to try to register those. So this this massive cloud of debris. Let's back out a little bit so you can see the scale of this this cloud of cloud of destruction that's about to descend on the Kerbal Space Center. Boosh! Boosh! <laughs> like a rain of death. Boosh! <laughs> a rain of destruction. <laughs> Alright, let's do that again. That was fun, let's do it again. Okay. Okay, come on. Rattle to max. SAS on. Three, two, one, go. <coughs> Sorry. We'll look at it uh, from fairly closer in uh, this time. So we get the full, full flavor. All the chaos that is about to ensue. <laughs> you look at the debris. God have mercy. It's just, it's just picking up more debris all the time because it's just overloaded the little sensors. It's just not even, not, not even trying to get all of it at once. Boosh! Booyah! <laughs> that was fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I know what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to uh, launch it up and then we're going to fire it at the, at the the, the vehicle of the building. And we'll go straight up for a while, then we'll do a power turn, and we will launch it at launch this this, this monstrosity at the vehicle of the building. Okay. Model up. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. It's been real.
Uh, now, on some of the versions, I put a parachute on the um, on the um, on the um, uh, rocket itself, so that um, I, it could it could sort of float above the fray. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that pop one on there, and and um, I'm I'm restarting the flights every time because I don't want to have a million pounds of debris on everywhere. Fine. Okay, we'll pop a drug shoot on here right quick. <clears throat> Just something to uh, slow it down. It's an engine of mass destruction. It does cause uh, having the drug shoot does cause um, uh, your projector to shift a little bit when uh, the explosions go off, but it means that uh, you can watch the uh, the rain of devastation on the ground without uh, any kind of uh, without uh, it switching to your closer view when you uh, smash into the ground. Okay, throttle to maximum. Pass on. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna follow the follow the debris field down. Good God, the massive debris field. <coughs> we can sort of see it from a scenic scenic perspective. Ah, F two. There we go. That's what we want. Boosh. Ba -ba boom. <laughs> the center just got nailed, man. The VAB just got absolutely nailed. Okay, alrighty. Uh, well, um, that, that's our our uh, 300 subscriber special for today. Um, I just wanted to show you all that little little, little fun things. Uh, so it's a real short video t uh, this time around, um, but um, uh, and I, I'll probably will put the both of these uh, fireworks on the um, uh, spaceport so you guys can download them and uh, have fun. Uh, and I'm still working on um, the journey into space stuff. Um, we'll be we're trying to get Boosh, uh, trying to get the um, uh, minimum space landed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, this base landed and uh, also the freighter up. Uh, so until then, hasta la vista. And congratulations and thank you for, uh, for making this channel a, su a success. Uh, thanks a lot.